I wanted to create this document series to show you a behind the scenes look of our business and what actually goes on on the other side of the YouTube channel. Then all of a sudden just shit hits the fan. There's only two of them watchers in the whole world, Charlie. I'd have failed. I don't want to purchase it anymore. I'm just numb to it. We're just growing and growing and growing. The team's getting bigger. I've got so many new clients and old clients supporting the business and for us it's kind of like, uh, we just continue to grow. This is, this is normal. For me it's just not good enough. Looks like he's working, don't really do a lot. <laughs> Every client I sold those to over the years have daily did. Charlie is the character. He's definitely a lot taller than I imagined. We'll be working late into the night remotely once we all get back to our homes and that'll be it. And then we'll get up in the morning and do it all again tomorrow. You only really get to see what we put out every week. There's a business behind that, there are people behind that, there are characters behind that, there are ups, there are downs, there's stress. And it's really important for me, because I truly believe, it's really important for you guys so you can actually see what goes on in the watch business. Yeah, well just let me know when you're ready to go through the emails and we'll go through them. Yeah. Next one, we'll see, you've got Dirt Just 41, Black Jubilee. Someone's just tried checking out with the meter right on here. I know, I've just emailed him. Or they failed. I don't know if it's We have extremely long working days. We work 16 hour days. Every morning, me and Josh, who's my full time PA, will sit down and we'll go through all the inquiries from the evening before. We thought we had one coming in, but we don't have one coming in now because he's backed out. And I don't know if you noticed that. He's, he's given back word on that. Yeah. So. Cheapest is 10 9 on Chrono. Yeah, so we'll go. It's 2022 and 1, Fluid Jubilee. We'll go 8 grand on that. See Dwellerfish collection. Right, we'll go back to him as well. That uh, that red RP will be worth buying. Is it warm? No. Okay. Let's check the price on that. Cause last one we sold, I think, it was about fourteen thousand. So it's worth checking on that, even though it's warm. We'll look at what's come in and what sales has come in, and it's really important for us to check prices online and check market prices because our industry is changing prices every day. My worth buying for around 10, 10 and a half grand. Got more pictures of the bracelet or? Yeah, just a picture of the condition inside the case. <clears throat> bracelet, obviously in class, and then we'll go back to another offer. I'm Josh, I'm Charlie's PA. So I'm answering phone calls, responding to emails, the social media inquiries, selling watches, boxing up watches, shipping them out, booking ones that come in that we've bought. I couldn't imagine how hard it was gonna be. When I applied, I thought they'd sell like one or two watches a week but it's just non-stop barrage. It's so hard to handle. <laughs> we can basically log in and we can see, obviously, who's buying, what name they are, what address they are. Obviously, just make sure that it's not a fraudulent permit as well, which is really important for us. We do everything by the book, and what I mean by that is, we do our due diligence. It's something to do with all clients. So even if you've checked out online, so we've not actually spoke to you as a client, Josh will then follow up with an email saying, thank you for your purchase. Can we have some form of ID? So we need two forms of ID. Then also for the size inside things. So it's really important for us as a company that we're making sure that you are who you say you are. Because obviously we've got to be, uh, protect ourselves from being targeted from fraudsters. So why don't you go through it? Um, so it's just saying failed payment. So it's true layer failed payment. So Truelair is a bank transfer. So that will be rejected by the bank. So what we find is when people are doing large payments, if they're in store, even though some clients ring the banks before they come and they're a bit paranoid about a big payment, because you're there with your card and you're chipping and pinning, or you've got our bank details and you're physically bank transfer and then they're direct, not through a third party, it will go straight through. If you are going through a payment gateway, so obviously we've got Stripe, we've got Truelay, we've got all these other payment providers, any online sort of transactions, they just think it's fraud, especially for big payments, then they have to ring the bank, stuff like that. It's just normal procedure for us. So when you've got the big sort of, I'd say anything over sort of 10, 15 grand online, you're gonna get stop checked, which is a good thing. Uh, but obviously some clients find it quite inconvenient, they've got to speak to the bank. And which watch is So that was the Metrite Day Turner at 90. 90, 90, yeah. What's really good for me is to see how much the company's grown. We've actually got a client, a new client of ours, not one that's on the books, he's literally trying to check out online. He's had a £90,000 meteorite day turned to his basket. So that just goes to show how much goodwill and how much trust he has in 
us and our company and the name that we have in the industry. When I first started in the business nine years ago, I was selling watches around two and a half, three thousand pounds. And what's exciting to see is we've grown a company where a client is that much trust in our company and our brand and willing to check out on nearly a ninety thousand pounds watch. So he's in the UK. His um, bank's foreign though. That's what he said on the email. He's saying what his bank's foreign? Yeah, it's right, like okay. Handel's Banken. All oh, right. Yeah, we're a good bank handles banking. Are they? Yeah, you've got to be a top tier person to get an account with them. It's like you've got, have you had a Coots? Yeah. So you've got Coots, handles banking, it's like a private account for uh, wealthy people. So the guy will probably be 100%. Yeah. So you just might have to facilitate the payment. Normally with handles banking, he'll have a private bank manager, he'll be able to ring him and he will then help him assist with the payment. Oh, nice. Yeah. But it would be buying a truly unique watch there. Handles Banken is a private bank for high net worth individuals. There's two big ones in the UK. One is called Coots and the other is called Handles Banken. So you have to have quite a bit of money behind you, normally a few million. And it's for somebody who wants that private service, that private call. So if they have a problem, they get on the phone, they ring the bank and they will deal with all their financial problems. So we just had a payment come through for 33,255. Is that for the uh, ghost. So that'll be another one we'll be doing. We'll get that boxed up soon and that'll be going out as well today. Ghost, one of our best selling oyster flexes, beautiful watch and unbelievable, unbelievable watch. So yeah, another happy client. Hopefully get that out today and be with him tomorrow. Like growing, like gremlins, just keep uh, multiplying. But no, we'll get through it. Be a late night tonight. But anyway, first day back, part and parcel of being a watch dealer. What people don't see. Yes, yeah, so I've got a lot of follow-ups to do. Obviously, missed a lot of uh, WhatsApps, missed a lot of calls, missed a lot of things that I do need to catch up on. People that I will need to go back to today, no matter what, I will go back to them even if it's later on this evening. I've got payments to make for watches. We've got things to do. We've obviously, getting ready for tomorrow, and I've got all this um, these sort of clients to go back to on deals. So I've got a deal there I need to go back on. I've got a deal there to go back on. I've got another deal there to go back on. So yeah, just part and parcel of being a watch dealer. Never ends, never sleeps, 24 seven. That's the life. It's the first day back after a bank holiday. It's always a busy day for Monday anyway after a weekend. We've got watches going out from the weekend purchases. We've also got new clients wanting to buy or come to the boutique. And a bank holiday's worth because everybody's been off for a few days and it's a shit show. You can put the deposit down. That will reserve the watch and sell it out online. And then you can let us know when you want to pay the balance. We normally do ask for the balance within seven working days. And then if you can just let us know um, that you're happy to go ahead, then we can arrange the 10% deposit online. Yeah, that's perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a video. I'll WhatsApp it over to you uh, this morning, let you have a look at it, make sure you're happy, and then we can arrange the deposit this afternoon and then just arrange, obviously, the shipping of it whenever you're ready. Cheers, thanks. Bye-bye. Yes, yeah, so the watch that that client's interested in is this one. So I just wanted to make sure it was what, it, what we say it is, which is a brand new, unworn, new old stock fully stickered, discontinued Rolex Daytona with the white chroma light dial. We've agreed a price uh, of £25,000 for that watch. I'm going to send him a video of it, make sure he's happy with it. He's then just moving some funds over uh, to his account to pay the balance so he can actually pay a 10% deposit online and reserve it. Once that's done, it'll sell it out online. Then we'll arrange for him to come to either to the boutique or we'll send it out to him direct. And that's it, but really rare watch. It's one of the older ones as well, which has the older clasp. Um, for you guys out there, you might not know, but that's actually one of the smaller class, which was correct to the piece. This is 2009 model. And as you can see, uh, it has the, the class that folds into each other. It's got a little uh, impression there that goes into the clasp there. Uh, but the, the older ones now, so we're talking like anything pre-2012, sort of, uh, fully stickered are very, very hard to come by. Uh, you don't see many fully stickered. Fully stickered was a thing of like 2000, sort of 12 to 2000. I would say 19, 20. To find an early one that's fully stickered is very rare. He's been chasing it for a while. He's been messaging uh, backwards and forwards. And uh, by the sound of it, he's ready to pull the trigger. So yeah, be a nice one to put away. Uh, good future investment and a real good long-term investment. And as per usual, whenever he, Josh goes and does anything, whether he goes to the toilet or anything, the phone will ring. I have to answer it. I don't answer many calls nowadays. And as per usual, you know, you've missed the beginning, obviously, the first part of the phone call. Josh is doing the boxing up, and as per usual, that always happens, literally. Whenever he moves away from the desk, all you hear is me, he goes, 
Josh. <laughs> yeah, <just> stupid. <laughs>So I like to do my videos in here for me, it's the best lighting in the boutique. So I'm just gonna quickly get the light around my phone, use it to zoom in. I'll hold it roughly around this angle here. And all I'm trying to do is get the lighting extremely good on the phone. Shows the watch to the best light possible. The reason I actually do videos, not only for our clients looking to purchase, but also for our social media channels, is because our clients can then connect with it. Videos are slightly different because you can actually see the watch, you can connect to it, the product, you can actually see the light reflecting, you see the condition of the watch. And as you know at LWC, everything we sell is absolutely brand new or like brand new, even if it's pre-owned. So it's very important for our clients to see that because they can literally connect with it straight away and that will make you want to either purchase it or not purchase it. So it's really important they can see a real life video of the watch with no sort of editing which obviously some companies do do we generally don't and we do the video in the natural light so we'll send that to the client now and see what it says oh, nice. yeah I'm Jota and I am the product photographer at the Luxury Watch Company. It's such a horrible colour. I probably shouldn't be saying that. What do you think of the mint green? Uh, do you like it? I like it? No. The thing is, like when it's in natural light, it's just not as impactful as it, it can be. Have you seen it on the Rolex website? It's a dark green, it looks like a dark green. But in person, you can barely even tell. Nothing on the blue, I'll say that much. Business card, <laughs> so my business card actually says I'm the director of media, which I suppose I am. I'm not just a product photographer, you know, I do a lot of things around there. I, yeah, I'm the author of the newsletter. Do you subscribe? <laughs> you better do. And I am um, a barista as well, making coffees. There's plenty to my job. So director of media makes a lot of sense. Tell them what I'm doing. I'm just flat laying. We like to do these for the, uh, for the Instagram. They're just a good way of showing off the watch. Uh, obviously, they look beautiful on the site, might I say so myself. But, um, but it's always nice to be a bit more stylistic with these ones. Right now we are showing off the new mint green Sky Dweller. A beautiful piece. Not as beautiful as the blue, like I say, but that's just my opinion. The irritating thing, as Charlie has already said, about doing his videos, is that you have to be getting it at the perfect time. So, half of my job is just waiting for the second hand to come around to the right moment. And the other half is removing the dust. I am pretty over them, to be honest. Obviously, at start, you think like, oh wow, these things are just incredible. I mean, a young man like me had never seen a Rolex in his life. But now, God, I must have had at least over 500 in my hand. But no, I can still appreciate how beautiful they are. But uh, they, I'm just numb to it. People spend the whole life saving up for these watches and people come into the shop and they're just amazed by it all. And it is, they are amazing pieces of horology. I'm only a young lad still, 25. But, um, but yeah, obviously did me here at university. It was only Huddersfield, mind you. But, um, but yeah, so classically trained. You could say, if I actually went to uni, that is. But, um, but yeah. First hand on an experience. I'm not, I don't think I'm doing too bad. Do you? <laughs>
I like to build relationships with my clients. I think it's really important. It's not just about one sale, it's about the future of your collection and keeping you as a client forever. And we've got clients from literally the first sort of week we open that we still keep as our regular clients. So you've got to remember this market's up and down and anything can happen. And when the market was down, you rely on your regular clients. And if you've not looked after them, they are not gonna be there. So that's the first rule of business for me personally. Always look after your clients, build relationships and give them the best service they can possibly have. What we'll do is we'll park that one for the minute. I'll pop that one on the side. Let's pop that one over there. And then we'll do, do you want to have a look at the uh, steel and yellow gold one? Yeah. yeah? It's, it's trying not to, I'll say, geek out a little bit too much, uh, you know, because you see it online on, on social media. Um, and, and like I say, it's the, the YouTube chair. So it's, you know, you see the backdrop and you see all the watches there. Um, you know, you sort of try to compose yourself a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's, it's looking out for the white door and the, uh, and the signs. But yeah, lovely location. It's 41 mil in size, obviously. It's got the wider case. You can see the bracelet's wider as well. Yeah. The clasp obviously is bigger. And then I'll turn that over there. So it's got the 18 carat solid gold fluted bezel, yep. gold through the center links. Um, and obviously it's got the Wimbledon dial with the gold Rolex hands and the gold Rolex um, coronet at the top. So we'll try that one on, let you have a look. I know what you're saying, you're looking for sort of evenings and weekends. I think that will tick them boxes. Yeah, so I've seen Charlie a lot on TikTok and also on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, obviously, I follow all the channels. Uh, so I came to Charlie more because it's uh, the second-hand uh, market with obviously a Rolex AD. You, you just on a waiting list for a little bit too long for my liking. Because I work away most of the year, it's it's a preferable choice to come and get a Rolex now rather than having to wait. Because so obviously with your job, which I am quite jealous of it, being on a golf course 24-7 in the Maldives, yeah. you know, wouldn't be for, for work. I know you said that. Yeah but I do think it's a really nice evening or weekend watch. Yeah. Did you want to try this one on or? Is yeah, that, yeah. yeah? I was, I was, I was look at that one. Did you look at that one? Right, okay, you see, I've got another yellow it. Right, what we'll do is. Yeah, there was definitely a handful in there then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the final decision was the 50th anniversary Sea Dweller. Um, obviously it's just, it's just a nice nice watch, correct size for what I like and, uh, and within the budget. Always make sure your crown's tight, I'm sure you know that. Yeah. It is fully waterproof. There is a little rubber seal inside anyway, in case it is a little bit loose, okay. like a secondary line of defense, but just always make sure your crown's tight. And obviously with it being a diver's watch, you can go swimming in it. Yeah. Uh, so pop that on there for you. Oh, I won't trust myself going to swim. Like, <laughs> like this, you can It's go. meant to, oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I trust swimming over hotel safes, let's put it that way. <laughs> Unless you know somebody you can trust them on, on, not on the beach or what yeah. have you, then that's what I would recommend. Yeah, so put all your bits in there. So put your spare links in there as well. It's more than just buying a watch, it is the experience. And as silly as it seems, we have clients that come and spend a lot of money on a watch and they will smile more when I say, right, it's time, come on, let's go to the merch counter and you can choose anything off the table. And then every client that comes does get a free gift that you can choose. And they're up there, I'll show you on the shop counter. So I'll put that there, so you can choose. I'll show you, do you want to Watch roll, single or triple. You can choose water bottles, caps, clothing, merch, the Honest Watch Deal merch. And they will smile more by getting that extra free gift and it's going the extra mile that counts for me personally. Single, single yeah. yeah. More for the yeah, I think it's really good for you actually. So I'll show you, let you have a look. There you go, open that. See what you think. So. It's um, company colours, yep. everything with it, but perfect for somebody who travels, yep. like yourself. In fact, we only had them in the last sort of, say, a couple of weeks, so they're quite new. Uh, and they are proving very popular with our clients. And then, like I say, just pop your watch on there. Yep. And then it's actually a protective case as well. So you just pull the sides off if you open it there, like that way. Enjoy your new watch. Thank you. Been a pleasure. Thanks for coming to see us. We'll hope to see you again. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers, mate. Enjoy Thank you. Day. And you. So our new clients that follow the YouTube channel that come and see us don't realise is when they come and purchase, that's a do sit in the set. And they'll come up the stairs, they'll come into the boutique, they'll sit with us. Like, oh my God, I'm actually sat in the set. I actually can't believe it. Some of our clients even video the experience just so they've got the memories. So for me, it's like you couldn't give me a bigger compliment than that. Charlie is a character. He's um, from, from seeing him online to seeing him in person. 
he's definitely a lot taller than I imagined. Uh, but no, he's a lovely gentleman, uh, definitely a gentle giant. 100% I would recommend people to come to Luxury Watch Company. Um, you know, if you're looking for a Patek Philippe or a Rolex, there's plenty of choices. Yep, so he's paid the balance. Um, did he pay 10 before? Yeah, so 17,950. Yeah, he's paid, yeah. Once you've done that, let's do, um, do you want me to ring Adam? Confirm for tomorrow. Let me just um, see if he's messaged me about. He's just put balance all, no, he's just emailed balance all paid. This is work address, so I asked him if he'd be there on Saturday. All right, it's company address. If not, we'll see if Adam can just do a special for us tomorrow. If he's not busy. Ideally Saturday, try and do it for tomorrow. Right. Let's see what the client wants, and whatever he wants we'll do. Do you want to bring him while like this? The one? client, or? Yeah, I can do you. Have you been speaking to him from the beginning? Yeah. I think you should ring him. Yeah. Just for continuity. So I'm about to call this client to see how he wants his watch to be delivered because it's such a, a special watch he's getting. We want to make sure we do everything we can to make sure it's exactly how he wants it. Hi Paul, it's Josh at the Luxury Watch Company. Hi, yeah good, thanks to you. Good, I'm just confirming we've received the balance. And I'll show you guys what this watch actually is, just wait there a second. Well, we, we can, uh, it's possible to get you there tomorrow. We've been there all day. Yeah. Perfect, we'll get that booked in for you and shipped out. I think it'll be shipped out tomorrow and delivered tomorrow. Perfect, all right, I'll, um, I'll do a follow-up email as well just to confirm everything. All right, thank you very much. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Look at that. It was bought by um, Rolex. It land, when did it land, Joe? Oh, Christ. Uh, the prehistoric times. The prehistoric. When did they buy it? This is right. Joe's done research on this, so I know I'm going to look stupid, but I do know it, but I forgot what he did because he does all the research. It's a meteorite, an actual meteorite. I'm going to say Gibeon, and I'm going to get slated in the comments. Someone's going to know, I'm going to be pronouncing it wrong, <laughs> completely wrong. Yeah, it was a meteorite that landed in prehistoric times, was discovered maybe in like the 1800s. Or was it, mm, might be medieval times it landed. You are really putting me on the spot here. <laughs> Being bought by Rolex and then they make dials out of it, which is crazy to think, isn't it? That's how rare it is. It's not all been bought by Rolex, though. Loads there of different you companies see? use it. You Getting know who else well. uses it? Amiga. <laughs> Did they? They Amiga. have to have a little bit as well, I think. Did they? You know what they're like. Yeah. Know. What's it called, this, this particular me trying that landed? The Gibeon. Gibeon. Yeah. Yeah, Gibeon me trying. There you go. People that don't know, Gibeon. I feel like such a new Every day's a school day. <laughs> Once again, I came in and saved Charlie's ass. <laughs> and, uh, to be fair to Charlie, I am the one that does all the research for the, the captions, uh, the socials and the newsletter. Uh, I do extensive research, uh, looking through all the blog posts, so. And I had told Charlie, but clearly it just escaped from his mind, like most of my newsletters do. <laughs> but um, like I say, I mean, I've just struggled memorising it as well. Yeah, really rare. I mean, that's that's like a forty, fifty thousand pound dial, which is crazy to think. But that's how much the dial's worth compared to a blue one or a ghost one in that model. That's like thirty-five k to buy. That's you know another fifty thousand pound just for that dial, but you try and get one out of Rolex. Harder to get them Platinum Daytonas, baguettes or plain. It is so hard. You have to have signed off by Rolex HQ and you've got to spend hundreds of thousands of pounds to be able to get offered that watch to go on the list to get it signed off to get it. That's how rare it is. He's closed on Saturdays. Right. So Adam said he possibly can do it tomorrow. Right, let me get on the phone to Adam. Let me ring him. Right, I'm just putting this over here. I think the thing is people watching this video will think, it's crazy that someone spent eight to five thousand pounds on a watch, but at the end of the day, it's just a normal day in the office. So I've um, just placed an order with one of my suppliers this morning. Um, he's confirmed it will be sent out to me this afternoon. So I won't confirm everything until it's physically here uh, with me tomorrow. But I just want to get the watch, inspect it, make sure we're happy with it, 
and then uh, we can let you know. Okay, I'll get this invoice made up for you now um, and I'll send it over to you in the next five minutes with instructions and the bank details. So we can't sell it out until we've received payment, but as soon as that payment comes through, then yeah, we'll remove it. Perfect. All right, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Bye. So I think that Josh has got like it's convinced guy sold so it's just mad this is a typical day back after a weekend or bank holiday this is just like normal for us Josh what's he saying uh, I'm just going to make him an invoice for the yeah. Mint Sky Dweller and he's yeah. going to pay the bank transfer right, brilliant done another one done easy as that <laughs> your face you're in shock are you this is, this is normal yeah. I know it's crazy isn't it so we've got another client booked in at uh, two o'clock. You do, yeah. The company's grown so much over the last year since we started the YouTube journey. This is now our normal day. This is our normal day-to-day -day business. We're booked out all day with clients. We're selling all day to clients online and over the phone. And literally because of the YouTube channel, our business has tripled in the last 12 months. Yeah, so do you want to give me a rundown of what we've sold today? Yep, so we've taken a deposit on the Sky Dweller with the mint green dial. Yep. A deposit on the Daytona Pre-Ceramic 2009. Yep. Client came in and collected a Sea Dweller. Yes. Another client came, paid the balance on the Challenge. Yep. The Daytona Ghost has had the balance paid and we'll send that out tomorrow. Yep. The Wimbledon has been ordered, fully paid, we'll send that out tomorrow. Sure, yeah, nice old fella. And we've got a client going to place a deposit on the Blue Sky Dweller in the next few minutes. Is that on PXD the Amiga? Yeah. Yes, yeah. how many is that? Seven. Not a bad day, first no. day back. We always mad, as obviously we've got watches going out from the weekend as well. First day back, all sales today. Happy days. What's first day of the Yeah, so, um, as you can see, my desk is not finished, my day's not finished. Um, we'll be working for another hour now. The phones are off, so the phones are off now from five o'clock on. We're just actually past that. Uh, that's it, we'll respond, we'll catch up on all the emails tonight, catch up on obviously all the YouTube channel messages tonight. We've got all the Instagrams, Facebook, which we've not touched today. Again, another part of the business that you don't see. We've also got all my desk. I've got to go through all these other potential deals. And then we'll be working late into the night remotely once we all get back to our homes and that'll be it. And then we'll get up in the morning and do it all again tomorrow. So the delivery driver's actually on his way to deliver the Meteorite Daytona. We are using it for the first time. Is the watch actually going to get there? Joe's out of the office, he does help Josh when he's needed. You know, we are just so, so busy. I'm still waiting to see if it's been delivered. I'm genuinely, genuinely nervous.